thank God for all things. Because I tell you, without him, we couldn't do anything. He, he's the one that brought y'all over here. <laughs> so I give him the glory. Neighbors, friends that I can meet and be a part of. Building those relationships and that sense of community. So it's much more than just swinging a hammer and painting some trim. From Colorado to Maryland and Saskatchewan to New York, student and youth service was strong throughout 2015. In February, a Bluffton University group, led by Louise and Lawrence Matthews, continued MDS's work on multiple homes in Far Rockaway. I'd work with MDS in Detroit and with flood cleanup in the basements, and I thought this would be a really great opportunity to bring other students out here. An opportunity that I looked forward to, and I love helping others, and why not get away from Bluffton for a little while? It's been real great to build the relationships, bonding with each other while we're doing work. Knowing that I'm making a difference in somebody else's life, and I feel like they're making a difference in mine as well. Come and serve! In March, Spring Breakers Nikki and Precious joined MDS volunteers in Pilger, Nebraska to rebuild homes lost to the June 2014 tornadoes. You know, it's different for everyone. Spring Break's not always about getting the time to relax after finals. I really like helping people in any way I can. Having this experience is really cool because I've never been involved with like building a house. It's nice to spend a vacation where we, you dedicate yourself to others instead of yourself. First year disaster management program students completed their summer field experience at the Chrisfield, Maryland project. Seven students from Heston College and one from Canadian Mennonite University worked at the project for eight weeks. I participated in the disaster management program through Heston five years ago, and that's what got me started working with MDS. And I was asked to come back as a student life coordinator for the current group of students. What I've liked about MDS is their, um, what they are doing for the homeowners and how we are representing the hands and feet of Jesus. Jesus gave a life of service as an example to us and how do we exemplify that in our own lives and give back and show love to others and this is just one way that that can happen. In late July, at the Mennonite World Conference Assembly in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, songs and prayers rang through the buildings, while outside, people could hear the ringing of hammers. Assembly attendees had the opportunity to volunteer time to help frame two homes through MDS's Partnership Home Program. Sometimes all you have want to do is give up, but there are other people all around the world that won't let you and that will try to give you hope. We've heard of MDS for years, and we like to bless others just as God has blessed us. I always think that M MTS is doing a wonderful job, so I feel that uh, I should contribute as well. It's an opportunity for the church to minister this way to the people who are in need. It was the start of somebody's home. I built a house. I'm part of it. The two framed houses were then delivered to families who had lost their homes to Superstorm Sandy and the 2014 Pilger tornadoes. I'm Savannah Staub and this is my husband Josh and we are in Wayne, Nebraska at our new home. <laughs> been an eight month process, they've been in and out and back and forth and lots of good hands, lots of good, good people. It's been a good experience. I'm excited. I'm Tina Friesen and this is my husband John and we're from Elmer, Ontario. We're in Chrisfield, Maryland helping finish this house up. Hopefully we get it done this week. The Collins family is who we're working for. 
They've been working like little beavers. Everybody gets down there, they go, 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 go. They don't slow up. They're getting it done, that's good. I got to talk to Mrs. Collins and she was so excited to move in here. She was telling me that this is the best looking house in the area. From Alberta to the Gulf Coast states and New York, MDS celebrated project closings and dedications. On Thursday, April 2nd, in Far Rockaway, New York, homeowners, MDS volunteers, and partner groups from the community sang praises and gave thanks to God for the hundreds of volunteers who came through their community over the past three years, rebuilding homes after Superstorm Sandy. As MDS wrapped up the last few homes of the 155 projects completed in High River, Alberta, the town gathered to celebrate the community's return. The mayor and local partner, the Canadian Red Cross, were among the many thanking MDS for their help rebuilding. We can't do it without organizations like Mennonite Disaster Services. You need the volunteers and you need the manpower, you need the expertise to help people that don't have the resources to do it on their own. The Canadian Red Cross has really had a fantastic experience working alongside of Mennonite Disaster Services from our volunteers on the ground to leadership in the community and coordinating and collaborating together. It's really been a positive experience. In late August, on the 10th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina, MDS invited former disaster response coordinators Jerry and Doreen Clausen to tour the Gulf Coast states and visit with some old friends who lost their homes to the storm. Welcome back. Thank you. Fancy meeting you here. From West Virginia to South Carolina and Michigan, MDS responded swiftly to floods and continued muckouts and cleanups. On August 11, 2014, more than five inches of rain fell in Detroit, Michigan, and the three surrounding counties. The rain came so quickly that it caused severe flooding along roads and in the basements of tens of thousands of homes in Detroit. The Detroit flood was the largest FEMA response in 2014, yet few have heard of the disaster. After the flood, everything got destroyed. I came home two days after, and all the water was gone but I could smell it. We reached out to one of the Mennonites that are here and said, we're seeing an unusually high number of, of muckout needs. We knew there would be some, but we didn't know how many. And he said, give me an address and I'll go look at the house. And so within days, they were able to get over to assess the house and then to get a team in and start cleaning it out. And that's why we're here today. There's a lot of people that are here. Southern Baptists are here. The Methodists are here. All hands are here. Salvation Army is helping to provide food. The Red Cross is here. We are here, Mennonite Disaster Service. So it's really a group effort. All the debris needs to be bagged or shoveled into a bag and hauled out to the curb. There's a lot of need here, and even before the flood, there were a lot of people that were struggling, and so the flood just made that even more difficult. It's a beautiful day, and I thank y'all, every one of you, for all that you've done. Many night disaster service. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. MDS volunteers mucked out basements in Lincoln County, West Virginia, after the spring and summer floods. My name is Wendy Beaver, the Assistant Fire Chief at Duval Volunteer Fire Department in Griffithsville, West Virginia. We have several homes around us that had severe damage and a lot of people are just very depressed and feel like they've lost everything, don't know where to turn, what to do. These hollows was pouring out. It was mean. I had never seen water as high as it was this time. Ms. McClure is um, She's recently a widow and we wanted to make sure that she was taken care of. So having you guys here gave us the ability to get a smile on her face and kind of bring some joy back in her life. West Virginia in the last two years has been a continuous project with the derecho and Hurricane Sandy and now this repeated flooding. To see the work that everyone is able to do is just awesome and to watch everybody come together and do it for a community that's not even yours is, is great. So, thank you. <laughs> in 
In early October, historic rains fell on an area of South Carolina stretching from Greenville to the coast, breaking dams, washing out roads, and flooding many thousands of homes. The affected area was estimated to be 150 miles by 60 miles. I came down and water was coming through both doors, just gushing through both doors. Before we know it, the water was at our knees. Get out in the front, step out on the porch, and come down here in the ground. The water was at over my chest. It was just devastating. But that's what we about. Faith, love, and hope. It's a blessing. God sent these people. After the success of the 2014 West Virginia Bridge Build, MDS returned to begin a series of driveway bridges in Lincoln County that were washed away by the April floods. With coordination from local partners, West Virginia VOAD, and designs from Jay-Z Engineering, MDS volunteers erected the first bridge for the Plumleys. I must say I'm delighted to be a part of this story. When I first heard about it, it caught my interest and I didn't know where the journey would go, but today, seeing that first bridge done, it's pretty cool. It's just really delightful. I'm gonna have me a red ribbon to put on there. That's the best Christmas gift we could get. Put it on each end. Ah. This project is definitely a, a great example of the whole community. We love working with MDS. These are super rewarding projects. You get to take your skills and put them to work and make something happen that really makes a difference in people's lives. I look forward to seeing what the new year will bring and how we can continue this story onto other bridges and other folks as beautiful as the Plumleys. Meet them, see them as my neighbors. My philosophy of life is that I should be out there caring for my neighbors and this is how I try to demonstrate that and if we can do that down into the future to other bridges it'll be wonderful. Oh,